Hi guys, Demaya once again. Welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'll be teaching how to do SEO, search engine optimization, while giving a walkthrough of um, the SEM Rush, uh, which is a platform used for search engine optimization. So make sure to stick to the end because you're gonna learn a lot. But then before I get back, this is our channel, make sure to subscribe and enable notifications so you got to tell one of our job or some videos like this. So let's get started guys. Alright, now welcome back guys. Like I said, in this video, we'll be learning how to do SEO. Yes, with the SEM Rush platform. So there are a lot of um, SEO tools out there. We have Ahrefs, we have um, SEM Rush, which is what we're going to be talking about in this video. There are a lot of them. But I personally choose SEM Rush for a couple reasons. So I'll see that in this video. So, but then, um, in order to sign up to the SEM Rush platform, go down below in the description of this video. And then um, the first link in the video, the first link in the description, rather, and pop it in. Let's copy that. And then um, it's gonna take you to the SEM Rush sign up page. So the first link, the one that ends with OP, yes. So go down below and click that, and it's gonna take you to the sign up page of the SEM Rush platform where you can sign up for an account. <coughs> so this is SEM Rush, um, this is the home page, this is a sign up page. Um, there are a lot of things you can actually do with this um, with this um, optimization tool. There are a lot of things guys you can do on page and off page seo with these guys in fact um i know if you're actually in this digital marketing space you must have heard of them because i think they're the number one um uh, seo tool out there yes and they're even in the stock market to show you how big the company is so let's sign up for an account um please enable to um, um use uh the the link below please ensure to use that link um i don't know you might get something some kind of sign up bonus use the link below it's an affiliate link i guess and it helps the channel a lot and you might get something in return so you hover right here and then you can sign up for an account i'm going to give a walkthrough from the sign up process and then we're going to talk about a um, couple things you can do on the platform let's sign up for an account and here we have it so now um here i'm gonna pop in an email okay uh, pop in our email and then we're gonna choose some password that's it choose a password then let's create an account yes so um you just um do this capture and do it real quick so i'm gonna do that real quick okay i don't like these captures actually <laughs> but i guess i don't have any choice so uh, let's confirm our accounts um, let me get that real quick from my email okay the code is here so you pop in your verification code you send it to your mail so let's do that sorry yeah okay let's confirm email capture again wow crosswalks can see any crosswalks here okay traffic lights from um, yes okay all right now here we are so now it's time to actually choose your trial your plan rather so um they actually give you uh a free trial so you just um i think you pretty much let me open this on a new tab can i open that on a new tab so uh, it's pretty much choosing your um your trial you can activate your trial you get um some days of trial if you go for the paid plan so it's actually good to go for the paid plan because it actually exposes okay here um you can see um they have a seven day free trial but you have to input your credit card details in order to activate your um trial but then you can still use the uh, the free plan can I see use the free plan, which is what we're going to be using for this video. So um, I'm going to skip the trial. So, but it's actually good to, like I said, it's actually good to go for a paid plan, so you can all the uh, all the functionalities of the site. There are a lot of things you can do here, ranging from on-page SEO to off-page SEO. So, um, and I think um, the pro plan is about uh, 109, um, a little above 120 dollars um, per month. So judging from what you're getting from that, um, uh, it's actually worth the price, guys. It's actually worth it. So let's keep trying for now because I just want to show you um, a lot of things you can do with the free plan. Actually. So 
you can choose an area of con um, interest I don't think this matters but you can actually skip the um, skip the step actually I think I should skip the step <laughs> so I just want to show you how to do this from the start and here we are on the SM rush um, platform proper we now have an account so like I said there are a lot of things you can do here guys there are a lot of things sometimes in fact this platform can be very very overwhelming and this is actually the same reason why um, I've checked um, here on YouTube and there are no, um, a lot of videos actually uh, talking about this platform because there are a lot of things you can do. You can take it from the SEO angle, you can take it from the display advertising angle, you can take it from the social media marketing angle, you can take it from the content marketing, community research, there are a lot of things you can do here guys. So um, I usually don't want you to be overwhelmed with what you can do. Um, the, functionalities um, is you're gonna be exposed on this side so I just want to keep it simple we're gonna be looking at the major SEO um, um, functions we're gonna be doing on this side so that's it so we're gonna be looking at SEO so now uh, first of first off uh, what I like doing with SEO is actually my keyword research yes um, like I said you can do on page and off page SEO here can even do site audit can even have them do this SEO work for you I think there's there's something for that I think you have to hit them up you have to click the chat box and hit them up something like that but I know you can actually give them the work to actually do the site audit and do a lot of things you can do on yourself so but then I like doing keyword research that's the main thing I love doing here so let's see if I can keyword research okay yes that's a keyword magic too yes so you can see the keyword research there's a whole section for keyword research keyword review keyword manager to keyword manager position tracking traffic insights a lot of things guys so let's say um i want to do an seo now so first off i need to um, seo search engine optimization is basically let me give an overview of what search engine, um, uh, engine optimization means here so it means um you ranking ranking in search results on whatever platform google alexa youtube or whatever so anything that um, requires people searching for something and you appearing um on those search results is actually um and you actually making efforts to actually rank for those um searches is actually called search engine optimization on whatever platform you are so um the closer you are to the first results on the first page then the better because that's actually the effort we want to be that first guy the very first guy that the search um, engines are going to pop up when people impute search um phrases or search words so that's actually and the number one way to actually rank on search results is keyword research that's why it's the first thing i'm going to be talking about in this video keyword research and um, this means you actually ranking for the keywords people are looking for instead let's say you sell shoes people are actually looking for let me say um where to buy shoes in london or where to buy shoes in uk or where to buy shoes in new york understand so um you know this keywords is actually what people are um, putting into this search and um, to, into the search engines when they're actually looking for what they're looking for so um, that's why you need to be on the right spot at the right time and the way you can do this is actually to rank for the right keywords and ranking for the right keywords a lot of things are going to there because you have to do you have to check the volume of um, the volume that keyword is generating understand and then you have to look for the com uh, competition yes do these two things have to balance understand because if you're going for one and you are actually neglecting the other then you are, you're not going to do that but what i mean is this, if let's say a search um, a, a, a keyword actually has a search volume understand but it doesn't actually have it's very very competitive what this means is that yes um you're going to be getting the volumes but you are not going to rank in there because it's too competitive there are a lot of guys out there who have been there in the game before you they have better content they have better size so you know you understand the game here because um these guys have been here and they have been into this optimization game well before you so they are obviously going to rank higher than you so if you actually put yourself there with the big fish then you actually get swallowed so that's what i mean so you have to look for high volume search phrases which actually are very very um, low in competition so that way you can actually um start off on that note and then actually scale and work from there so that's actually um the idea here there are a lot of things that are going to um search engine optimization size keyword research um, um google for example which is the number one search engine in the whole world which is obviously where everyone wants to rank 
um, Google um, considers a lot of things. You have um, size the keyword, you have the um, your content, you have to put in optimized content um, that actually relate to what um, your users are searching for. So um, they also have other from other parameters like site speed and all that. So and, and mobile friendly and that's um, responsive, your site responsive. So a lot of things go into search engine optimization and it goes way beyond keyword search, which is why you'll be needing this site audit. This site audit actually means, let me open that in the new tab if I can. Yes, so let's let that load. So is a, this actually, an audit means like looking into your site, looking for mistakes, looking for technical fault, just overall like running a check on something. That's what an audit means to see if things are balancing up. So you can enter your domain, understand and then you can start let's say let's enter a domain like go um go.com something like that so i can actually you can actually one thing one good thing about this too is you can actually even use it to spy on your competitors so let's say go.com is my competitor is a sports site so i can start an audit on them and this is actually going to um uh, do a lot of research on uh listen and then um, give us a final result so it's a whole thing out there, so you can play with it, understand? So I'm here majorly to show you what you can do with the SEO side of things. So let's say I want to make a video on SEO, which is actually what I've been here. So let's say SEO. So I want to know um, SEO, like um, I want to get an insight on the keyword SEO. Let's say, obviously people who are going to be um, looking for how to do SEO, they are going to be putting the keyword SEO or search engine optimization into their search queries. So SEO is there. I can search for how to do SEO, how to do SEO, understand? It's something people actually, actually start with. But to give it a bit broader, I will just leave it at SEO. And then I'll choose the country I want to be targeting. The United States, I can choose to get data from for the United States, the United Kingdom, Australia, Germany, or any country of your choice. So after that, after I pop that in, I'm gonna click search and then let the um the tool generate this data for me. And this data is actually what I'm gonna be working with now. So you can see now when I, I said something earlier about the um volume and the competitiveness of um key phrases, yes, of keywords actually. So looking at this, um this is actually although this is actually generating a lot of irrelevant um keywords here. Because this is a little bit um, the word is here. Let's say let's go for something a little bit more niche down. <coughs> Let me say um um start YouTube, how to start YouTube, something like that. How to okay, let's say how to draw, right? So let's say you want to write a blog post on how to draw. So you want to actually um get keywords that people are actually looking for when they are um Actually, when they want to draw, and then they're looking for ideas on how to draw. So you can see, um, this has populated this keyword, um, this um, number of keywords. So these are the top search and um, uh, key phrases when people are actually looking for how to draw. So you can see the volume. That's what I was talking about. The volume is there. But then another thing I want you to look at is actually the the competitive density, which is the how competitive this keyword is. Yes. So um, these are the two things I'm concerned about: the volume and um, the competitive nature of that keyword. So I think there's uh, there's a function to actually filter this by the highest. Okay. So now when I click this, it has actually generated this from the highest, um, from the most competitive keywords. Understand? From in, from the decreasing order of competitiveness. So. Um, it goes from a scale of zero to one. So one means this, the keyword is very, very competitive and the lower it goes, the further it goes from one, that means the lesser competitive it is. So you wouldn't want to go for this keywords. Number one, they don't have high search volumes. And number two, they are very, very competitive. This is not what you want to be part of. You usually want to go for something that is very, very, um, uh, less, um, very, very less um, competitive. So something like this you can look at this this is not competitive at all but then you can see they don't have volume so you can you can just play around with this you can see i usually go for volume i usually go for um keywords with volume up as high as um as high as 1000 yes 1000 searches per month that's 1000 searches monthly that's usually what I, I i like to go for let's try something i just want you guys to have an idea of, um what i'm talking about let's say um I run a shoe business, understand? So 
I want to see where to buy shoes. Okay, let's see. So obviously, someone obviously want to buy shoes. So it's going to show shoes, shoes for, um, for sale in London. So in London, I don't know if that's a long keyword. I think the shorter, you just need two key phrases. You can, I think shoes London will be perfect. Let us see what this brings. Okay, high heel shoes in London. Okay. Um, these are very very less competitive keywords um, and less volume keywords by the way so let me say shoes london i think that will actually give us a broader search here okay when i download okay now you can see shoes london so this is basically i'm gonna give you an insight of the shoes people are actually looking for in london or people want to buy or actually what's trending instant so that you can actually uh, let's say you run a shoe business you can actually write a, i'm running a blog on this and actually try to drive conversions from that so these shoes in london so um, you can see flashes in london this um key phrase actually has 6600 searches monthly Mind you, um, these searches, these results are actually the volume per month. So it has 6,600 um, um, searches per, uh, per month. It's actually a great number. Remember, the 1,000 mark is our threshold. So, but then it's very, very competitive. You can see it's very, very competitive. It has a competitive scale of one. So I wouldn't want to rank for this. So I'll go somewhere down. So you can see this keyword actually has a lot of um, very, very competitive keywords. So right here, um, right about here, you can actually see it actually um, um actually uh, populates it into segments. So you can see, let's click buy. So there's a lot of things you can actually do here. You can go by questions. You can go by all. So it's good to actually play around and see what you can do here. So uh, you can actually use filters and so on. So you can do word count. You can do competitive density. Let's say you actually want competitive um, density. Of, I usually recommend somewhere from zero to three yes that's from zero to three this is where you want to be as a beginner from zero to three anything above the scale of three four five or two down to one believe me you don't want to be there so let's say i want to filter this by only this so sorry i'm um, zero to sorry zero point three sorry I made a mistake there so let's pop in the filter again so zero point zero point that's zero to zero point three that's 30% mark, that's actually what it means. So, okay, as you can see, I've exhausted my my trial limits for the you only have 10 requests. So, if you're going for the free plan, this can uh, give you um, a very tough time instead. It can give you a very tough time because you are limited. So, I advise if you actually, um, um, if you can actually, you can actually go for the free, um, to repay plan and you'll be having this um, error messages popping up here and there. So, I believe these are giving you an idea of how to do keyword research, which is the core um, principle of SEO. The number one thing we actually do in search engine optimization, getting keywords to rank in search results. And that's it. A lot of things, like I said, go um, um, beyond um, SEO. You have your site speed, your mobile responsiveness, a content um strategy your, your you have to be putting the relevant content but then why putting relevant content you have to also put in um use right keywords actually so the the content and then the keyword working together will actually make sure that you're actually ranking you know in, in order and um, together with other factors and um, like your site speed and responsiveness like i said so that's it for SM Rush. It's a very nice platform. It's, it's pretty much bad. Uh, um, you can't actually do much with the free plan, but I guess good things come at a price. So enable to use the link below, like I said, to get um, to this site. Understand? So you sign up. It helps the channel a lot. It's an affiliate link. So make sure to use that, and then um, can play around with this. So um, most especially if you can, just go for the paid plan. Understand? Go for the paid plan. So you won't have. Um, pop up messages like this and um, disturbing your work. So that's it for this video, guys. I hope you learned a lot. Make sure to subscribe if, you, if this kind of content is what interests you. We post videos here on trading, investing, digital marketing, and e commerce, and pretty much everything when it comes to making money online. We're just trying to get this Wi Fi bread empty. So make sure to subscribe and also like this video when you like the video it actually helps the channel it helps you to recommend our videos to a lot of people so that actually know what we're doing here. so like subscribe and share this channel with your friends so that's it for this video thanks guys see you in the next one cheers